Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Rice and I teach family photographers how to gain a life of financial freedom through a thriving photography business. Today, we're diving into how to keep track of your income and your expenses using a spreadsheet. I'm super excited, let's jump in. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so that you can be notified when new videos go live every single week and so that other photographers just like you can also find this video. Before we get into things, I wanted to let you know about a free guide that I have just for you guys, and it's called the nine steps to making your photography business more official. So if you are like really wanting to make this thing real and you know make sure that all of your ducks are in a row, then this guide is for you. It's gonna walk you through the things that you need to get official and to get legal and things like that. And so you don't wanna miss it. It's linked in the description for you. Okay, income, expenses, managing your finances, that can be an overwhelming subject for a lot of photographers. And so my goal is to hopefully take something that's scary and overwhelming and simplify it so that um, you can feel confident and, you know, going forward, you know your numbers, you know what your business is bringing in and all the things. So when I um, first started my business, well, first of all, let me just say, there are many ways that you can track your income and your expenses, um, whether you're using a spreadsheet spreadsheet or a program like QuickBooks or even like YNAB. There's lots of different methods that you can use. The whole point is that you want to make sure that you are tracking every dollar that comes into your business and every dollar that goes out of your business. The reason is if you're not tracking it, you're not going to have any idea where your money is going. And so, um, you know, you want to make sure that from the beginning or from today, from right this moment, you want to be tracking and paying attention to where your money is coming from. So I'm going to talk specifically about using a spreadsheet because it's free. Um, and so whether you're starting out or you don't really have the funds yet to invest in a system like QuickBooks to track your bookkeeping, a spreadsheet will do just fine. There's a little bit more like manual labor that has to go into it. It's a little less automated, but it gets the job done. I used a spreadsheet in my business the first, I don't know, two, two and a half years, and it went fine. And so I want to share my screen and walk you through the exact income and expense tracker that I use in my own business so that you can see um, how you know I laid everything out and kept track of everything. Now, I don't use this anymore. I do use QuickBooks now, but for the first couple years of my business, it was perfect. So let me share my screen and I'll walk you through it. Okay, so this is basically what my income and expense tracker um, spreadsheet looked like for the first several years of my business. And so um, I have on this side a summary so that I could quickly see what each month um, total was and the running total. I could see how much my income was, my expenses, and my total profit for the year. And so the key here is this side of things. So if I scroll over, you can see all of the different columns. Um, I have the date, so I would put whatever date the transaction happened, whether it was money coming in, money going out, whatever the date would go there. And then I would put the group. So if it was like mini sessions, portrait sessions, or whatever grouping I want to do, I would put that in the group section. That way, if I wanted to filter, um, and you can like filter by here based on if I wanted to just see mini sessions or whatever, I could do that. Um, and then I would put the item. So I would usually get pretty specific. I would put like, if it was a mini session, for example, I would put the type of mini session. So like, let me fill in a um, sample here. So we're going to just say, just for easy, group mini session. And then I would say like, um, uh, well, I guess the date would, I'm going to just say fall minis. Um, Rebecca Rice, that's the client name. Um, so I'm gonna change this to like 9122. Um, 
the category, that is like the, ta the tax category that this would fall into. So this would be income. Um, if it would be an expense, I would usually put what type of expense. If it was like an office expense or um, a, a rental or something like that, that would be the category. Payment type, I'm putting, you know, did they pay with check, credit card, whatever. Um, I'm going to say credit Dubsado. Um, so that I know where I can find that. I put the invoice number to um, that matches in Dubsado so I could go search it if I wanted to. And then for this example, I'm going to say that this had was not an expense, that it was an income. So income, let's say I paid $285 for a mini session. Um, a sales tax, if you have any sales tax, I would put that there. Um, and then the processing fee for like Dubsado, I would put there. Um, so you could see your overall profit. And if I had any notes about this um, type of mini or whatever, this transaction, I would put it there. So you can set up your sheet to automatically um, include this stuff. So first of all, I'm just going to say zero. So I know that um, if I were to start with January um, over here, for the sake of numbers, I'm going to do this. Um, so let's say that this is January and I have 115, 118, and 120. Um, that way I can see all of my January things. And let's say those are all different types of income. So I did $100. Let's say I had 125, 200. Um, so I can see all of this income here. Um, now what I would do is in this January cell, I put equals. And I'm going to type sum so that it adds up um, whatever like things I select. And then I'm going to come over here and just select all of that. So I want January to pull the sum of all of those numbers. And I hit enter. And it comes over here as $710 for January. And my running total is $710. Let's say I had nothing in February and I had some stuff in March. So let's do 3, 2, 3, 8 and 3.30. Okay, so I'm going to go in and put some random numbers in again. We're going to do um, somebody booked a bundle, um, somebody bought extra galleries, and um, somebody bought the full gallery. That needs to be a dollar. So now I'm going to do the same thing over here for March. I'm going to say equals sum, and I'm going to come over here and highlight these for March because those are my three March cells. I hit enter and now I can see I made $790 in March and now our running total is $1,500 because in February I made none so it was still 710 and we go from there. So as you're adding, um, you know, let's say one of these instead of income was actually an expense. We're going to say minus, um, minus $200. Um, or you can just put 200 as an expense, whatever you want to do. Um, so now your monthly total goes down. You can see, um, and you can have your profit, like, uh, calculate over here. If I just, um, take this and pull this down, it automatically populates. So my profit is, I do need to put a minus. Oh, whoa, <laughs> not that. Um, and this is going to be this minus oh oh gosh I messed it up equals this oh come on uh, minus this okay it's there we go <laughs> so now it's calculating correctly so I can see my profit was negative 200 on that expense so you can go through and play with it um, so that you can see how much you're making overall this is just a really easy way to keep track of your income, keep track of your expenses um, so that you know what's coming in, what's going out, and how much money you're actually profiting in your business because the overall goal is to make a profit. So if you don't have a running list of everything that's come into your business this year and everything that's gone out of your business this year, take some time, fill something like this out, um, and you know, do whatever needs to be done to, to make sure this stuff gets tracked because it's so, so important to keep track of what you're doing. Um, so I hope that was helpful for you. 
All right, guys, there you have it. I hope that was helpful for you. If you want to find more resources for family photography and business and things like that, check out the description. I've got tons of free resources. I've got some paid resources if you want to check those out. Um, but for sure, go take a look and I can't wait to help you have right way I can. If you have any questions about anything we talked about, just comment them here below and I would love to come in and answer those questions. Um, I really do have a heart to serve photographers just like you. And so any way I can help, I would love to. Um, with that, we'll go ahead and close out and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.